Passing is a big part of basketball. During this group passing drill, players dribble in from half court, release a pass from the top of the key, react to their own pass, catch it, and lay it in. No dribble. The toss back is placed in the forward position. This is an excellent warm-up drill, emphasizing good concentration while passing, as player reaction and total team movement. With the toss back, if you make a bad pass, you get a bad pass in return. This drill enables the coach to easily identify passing mistakes. During a fast break drill, players react to an outlet pass, dribbles down court, passes to the second toss back, and shoots a jump shot with dummy defense. Defensive player then rebounds and throws a pass to a player sprinting from half court. Keep, it over your head now. Keep that ball over your head. Right. Him out. Get it, Don. The action repeats itself. This is an excellent drill for conditioning. The guards, centers, and forwards in a short period of time repeat game-like shots and passes. Players develop passing consistency that will reduce ball handling errors. Each player gets the opportunity to work on a variety of skills under intensity. In today's game, most shots come off the pass. By using two tossbacks in a group situation, more shots are taken within a given amount of time because players must concentrate and react, as well as practice the passing game. All shots are taken without a dribble. Shooting drills that simulate game action motivate players to perform better for longer periods of time. In a spot shooting drill, players hit toss back with a chest pass, position at the foul line extended. They react to the returning pass and take a jump shot, again no dribble. Players are working on balance, rhythm, and basic shooting form under control. With slight modifications, the degree of difficulty can be changed. By adding a second toss back and more players, a coach can set up very intense competitive shooting drills, forcing players to shoot quickly as well as accurately. Proper balance allows a player to play with strength. As in shooting, balance plays an important role in all phases of basketball. The jump stop is an excellent drill to teach this basic fundamental. Players will learn to control their bodies in motion. Players pass to the toss back, reacts, meets the ball, jump stops on balance, and makes a front or reverse pivot. Now using the same jump stop fundamental, only adding a shot, players make an overhead outlet pass from the baseline into the toss back, which is raised in the up position. This is an outstanding forward and center continuity shooting drill. Great repetition. Toss backs create individual as well as team reaction. With this defensive slide drill, each player can be timed and tested for quickness, with coaches noting the number of repetitions in a one-minute drill. Players must react with intensity to each pass. This is basically a defensive drill, but incorporating ball handling. Defense starts with the feet. Here's a defensive station drill involving four or more players. Two players are doing a two-man pop on the toss back, head still, feet moving quickly, high intensity. Two players pass and slide from the baseline to the foul line. Players change positions every 30 seconds. Time and test players for added competition. The second part of the defensive station drill, foot fire, has the same four players in a rapid fire foot drill with each player reacting to a teammate's pass off the toss back. Drill should be run for one minute with high intensity. Quick ball handling, constant foot movement. By using toss backs and station work, coaches can isolate skill work according to positions.
pass in reaction jump shooting drills can be designed for weaknesses as well as for showing improvement. While guards and forwards are working at respective positions, big men are working with their back to the basket. The toss back will return a ball high or low, bounce or chest pass by a slight movement of the net frame. The toss back is easily moved for floor position. Here the toss back is stationed at the top of the key, returning a chest pass. Today's big man will catch a pass on bounds, drop step, and make a strong move to the basket. And end up by saying, I got something for you, baby. Team station drills to improve individual skills without using a lot of time are necessary in many basketball programs today. Quick repetition under maximum intensity will increase stamina efficiency with or without the ball. Players rotate positions every 15 seconds. Thorough conditioning will develop the strength in arms, legs, and hands. Hand and arm strength are important in rebounding. Here's two ways to develop this strength. One player uses the rebounder to pull the ball down against resistance. The second player does the overhead power pass into the toss back using maximum force. Players rotate every 30 seconds for two minutes. The big fella goes to work here. Position the toss back 15 feet directly in front of the rebounder. Player picks the rebound off, makes quick outlet to the toss back, reacts, catches it, gives a short flip to teammate. Back at it. Rotate to forwards and centers. Work on keeping the hands high, moving the feet. For added intensity in competition, chart the number of repetition each player makes in one minute. Now we're going to talk about the rebound. There's two things we want to rebound. We want to keep the feet moving and we want to keep the ball high. And the main thing is we run the drill for one minute and we want high intensity. I start by throwing the ball into the toss back. Back to a lane, when the ball comes through that net, I keep my hands up high, move my feet back, and do the same thing. Now I'm aware. If a player can overload a game situation in a practice session each day, he'll improve. Repeating game situations or drills with intensity during practice strengthens a player's confidence. As you can see, this is another work drill. How many times in one minute can a player put the ball in the basket? 20 repetitions, keeping the hands high, feet moving is excellent. Keep the hands high. Now move the feet quick, keep the hands high. This drill forces quick repetition and rebounding. The toss back, raised in up position, works simply by returning a ball sharply and accurately off the glass. This is probably the toughest drill we have in basketball with both machines in action. It's called a rebound outlet drill. Again, it's very intensified. How many baskets you could make in a two-minute time period. And we'll do the same thing as far as one of the rebound. We actually ball, get the hands up, step, take it back to the hole, keep my hands up over my head. This drill illustrates the tremendous effect a tossback plays in conditioning a player by direct and controlled method of intense repetition. Without doubt, a coach can teach and develop intensity in players. A player can only learn by doing. The player consistently rebounds in a strong hands-up position, turns stepping with the nearest leg towards the target, makes a quick outlet pass, reacts, receives and makes another strong move to the hoop. Note my left foot points towards the toss back and starts me back to the hole. This is a very tiring drill that develops a quickness, the rebounding, timing, stamina, and most of all, consistent body control. 32 or more reps in two minutes is getting it done. The rebound outlet drill run for two minutes is the best commando training drill with the ball I have ever been involved in as a player. Step. Step home and take that ball home quick. Are you going? under intensity keep his hands up. So this is going to be a drill again for one minute. We're going to run, step, and keep our hands up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I make that pass. Put my hands up. Take my hands. Put 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 my
This outlet passing drill forces big men to keep their hands high. This develops passing concentration and arm strength. A player can make three times as many passes in one minute back as he could to a teammate in the same time. Hands up, good. Okay, we come out of the intensity outlet drill. We're going to take it right in the now. We're finding two targets or two people. Right, I come back, I lay the ball in the net. Get hands up over the head. The player releases an overhead outlet pass, reacts and catches the ball in the post position. He turns quickly and passes the ball to the second toss back and rolls to the basket for return pass and lay in. No dribble. Station a toss back on each side of the floor at the forward spot. The net frame is in a half raised position. For maximum results, drills should be timed and tested for one or two minutes each day, keeping the hands up. For added competition, add a second player with points being awarded for missed shots, bad passes. Keep it moving. Tilt the net frame up and the toss back will simulate the lob pass from the back court. The guards pass, react, find the ball, stay on balance and take it home. This drill develops timing, conditioning, balance and floor awareness. By using four or more players, the drill forces competition and concentration. Because of the flexibility of the toss back, it can be moved and raised easily. Once the angle is set, the return pass is true every time. With a high lob pass off the toss back, the forwards and centers can time and control their jump, either tapping or jamming the ball in the basket with quick repetition. Drill stations highlighting individual skill development can be built around the toss back. During a six man, six station, every player runs each drill for one minute, changing spots every minute. Coaches can record the number of reps for each player. These drills are useful for showing improvement and can be designed for certain weaknesses. Six quick minutes with daily application will reduce ball handling errors. Players work on the fundamentals of passing, shooting, reaction, rebounding, quickness, rhythm, and timing. These drills lead to strong, consistent habits and overall self-discipline. The technique can be mastered under intensity and concentration, enabling each player to reach his potential. The overhead outlet pass to the toss back, pull through for arm strength on the rebounder, the pass and rebound off the toss back, hands high, feet moving, concentration. Jumping rope helps the player to develop overall agility and body control while adding strength to his arms and legs. Defensive slide drill and a toss back for quickness, and the mic and drill for shooting rhythm. Here's a team continuity outlet back door drill. Forwards and centers make an overhead outlet pass to the toss back, stationed 15 feet to the side court. The guards time their cut from the top of the key. Constant motion alternating players. The guards will make a jab step before cutting to the basket. Keep the ball off the floor. If a player can't catch the basketball, he can't play. The ball will come off the toss back faster than another player could throw it. This is a super drill to improve an individual's hands. But to get results, the drill must be run with intensity plus maximum effort with the hands, arms, and legs for one minute before and after practice each day. The ball should be thrown rapidly and with force to strengthen the wrist and to improve hand and eye coordination. Off-season training programs are becoming vital to success in basketball. It's a fact that players improve the most during the off-season because attention to detail can be paid to individual weakness and schedules to improve them can be assigned to each player. The following is a group of drills any player can do alone to improve quickness, timing, reaction, ball handling, stamina, and individual confidence. There's no shortcut to improving skills. It takes work. The toss back is a serious training device and when used properly demands concentration and produces results. A toss back in a breakdown practice situation has no equal as a fundamental training device. All coaches know that success is not measured on how much talent a player has, but how much talent a player uses. All players are equal in one thing, time. Good basketball players spend many hours alone with a basketball working to improve their skills. Skills such as passing and reaction to a ball and a defensive stance. How many repetitions can a player make in 30 seconds from a given point to point? This drill will definitely improve quickness. A quick hand change in the net frame and player now works on ball handling, gaining the necessary rhythm and timing. Player works to make the ball an extension of his hand, and he improves overall hand speed. Guards can learn to pass off the dribble starting in a stationary stance, alternating hands developing a feel for the ball. Head up, eyes on the target. Work for a smooth delivery before attempting the important but more difficult pass on the move. In a workout alone or with a teammate, quickness can be developed with the intensity laying off the toss back. 
Start with the pass from the top of the key to the toss back. React to the return pass, catch it, lay it in. No dribble. Repeat the action. How many laps can be made in one minute? 14 is excellent. For intense conditioning, two players can stay on each other's back until a bad pass is thrown or a shot is missed. This added competition forces quick starts, stops, and changes of direction that will help a player in the transition from offense to defense. During the workout, once the intensity lay-in drill is finished, go immediately to a two-man pop foot-fire drill. Pass and rotate. The defense starts with the feet. Keep them moving quickly and force each other to work hard. Note the intensity. The habit of intensity can be developed. Players have to want it and be willing to work at it. Follow the two-man pop with a shooting game of 21 off the tossback. Player shoots, rebounds a shot, passes into the tossback. The pass off the tossback lets the second player receive a simulated pass from the forward position. This forces a quarter turn before the shot with proper foot setup. Constant motion. Shooting drills should be quick and game related. This drill does it. An added plus with the tossback is the tossback saves time in individual shooting practice. The tossback will return each made shot. A player can get in twice as many shots using the tossback as a ball return. Throughout this film, the words repetition, quickness, concentration, determination, intensity, and self-discipline are constantly used. These are basketball words players hear a lot, have great meaning, and play a big part in the success of any basketball program. If coaches and players are not willing to take the basic fundamentals to the floor each day, they're just not going to win. Pro Keds and Tossback are interested in your program because we're in the business of winning. Tossback makes it happen. Thank mm -hmm. you.